Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the BAM box original for October 2018, uh, but they're calling it pop culture now, so I'll probably say pop culture up there. Um, one thing right off the bat, I'm going to have a link in the description of this video, so if you want to sign up for BAM box, you can get a little bit of a discount and that'll actually go towards some credits for me, which is really nice, which will get me like upgrades for my boxes and potentially if I get enough people signing up through it, free boxes, I believe. So that would be awesome, so I'd appreciate that. Also subscribe real quick if you like these unboxings. It goes a long, long way for you to hit subscribe and help me out. Comments, thumbs ups, all that. So uh, a few things to go over. One, sorry, I'm dealing with some allergies. A lot of stuff going on here, here, and here. So I have a little bit of water. So if I end up taking a sip of water, coughing, clearing my throat, whatever, I apologize for that in advance. The other thing to address real quick, this BAM box is late. Uh, probably a bit over a week late, maybe about a week and a half-ish. Usually ship between like two and four days to get to me from when they send it. They send it between the 25th and 28th of the end of each month. But they, this time around, switched uh, carriers. So they are going with DHL, DHL at the moment. I believe before they were going with UPS. So a lot of people have very strong opinions about DHL. I've learned online when this happened. Um, I don't have much experience with DHL. I had one experience and it wasn't a good one. So they're not batting a thousand for me. They're actually batting zero for me, but I also haven't had that many experiences with them. So I don't know, maybe they're good. Maybe they'll be fine. I don't know. But this was their first pickup for the BAM boxes to ship out and uh, things went wrong. Um, they usually provide tracking numbers. Tracking numbers were not updating. Uh, it appears that the boxes were just kind of sitting as well. DHL wasn't doing anything with them. Uh, not all of them, but uh, a large section of them. But Bambox got it figured out. They contacted DHL and things got moving and, you know, the box is just late. Um, I understand people being kind of like mad because you expect things at a certain time, especially when you get tracking numbers. But at the same time, like, these aren't perishable goods. They're not, it's not going to go bad. It's it's collectibles. So you can get it late and it'll be fine. Um, it just, all it is is what are your expectations? Like, you, you just have to be like, okay, maybe I'll get it a week later than what I thought. So, you know, like, first world problems, people. So you can air your grievances and say, hey, what's going on with this, uh, you know, Maybe I'm a little bit upset about it, but don't go crazy. There are some people online in the Bambox Facebook community that have just been like, let's shut these, these, whoops, I was knocking things over. They're like, let's shut these guys down. Show them how pissed off we are. Let's all unsubscribe. And I'm like, you should give them the opportunity to make good. Like, this is their first time shipping with a new company. From what it seemed, it wasn't their fault. It was the, it was DHL's fault. So... I mean, what are they supposed to do? They did what they could do. They contacted them. They got it figured out. And really, the delay is not that long. So, in general, just give companies the opportunity to fix problems is what I'm saying. And that's that's a practice I usually do. So, you know, just be cool. It's not that big of a deal. Anyway, I don't want to take up too much time with this. Uh, I am also going to be posting the Bambox Horror unboxing same day. So, look for that as well. I won't talk about all this extra stuff up front with that video. I'll just say reference this video if you want to know what happened with it being late. So, um, weird thing, it's in a, I'm not showing you the other side because of my address, but it's just in like a, a brown box, I don't know. The horror one, the horror one's in the actual like BAM box. There, I can show um, That's for the other video, but I don't know. I don't know, did they run out of the proper box or was this intentional because that normal box it's it's just like one one size and what they needed to put in didn't fit? I don't know. Cuz they've done it before and that seemed like it was the case. It's not often though. So it'll be interesting when I get in here to see why if I can figure that out. All right. So, mm -mm. tissue paper for my cat. Oh, oh, three pieces. I like it when it's three pieces. Well, she likes it when it's three pieces. Okay, hmm. The thing on top feels like it might be like a mask or something. It actually is. Oh, actually, oh, okay. This is cool, actually. Th this is kind of cool. 
Okay, so if people, I don't know if people remember one of their one of the ones that they had before it was, we got a Deadpool mask, and it was a pretty cool looking mask. This I like this. I do like this. This is like a. It's gonna be hard to show you, but I'll, I'll probably have to put it on. It looks like an ant anti venom mask. I don't know if people are that familiar with comics. So you have Venom. I'm sure everyone's familiar with the Marvel character of Venom. Um, there's like an anti venom that's the opposite coloration wise. Let me see if I can get this on. This should fit. It is kind of stretchy. Can I get with the eye? It fits kind of weird. I mean, that's cool. It is kind of tight, though. Okay, I'm not going to wear it all that, that much. I mean, I'm not going to wear it for the rest of this video. It's uncomfortable, and it gets hot. But, I mean, that's cool. It's, a. Uh, you can see the stick. It's made in Mexico. Um, not that I care, really. It's just, that's what the tag says. It's very prominent. Made in Mexico right there. But, uh. Yeah, I mean, the stitching on it looks like it was done kind of kind of fast. I mean, it's not, like, super high quality, but at the same time, like, what do you expect? It's not like you're paying a lot of money for this because there's a lot of items in here. But it's kind of cool. Um, someone could wear this for the next Halloween. Actually, it kind of kind of makes me think that they should have tried to get the boxes out, like, early if they had something like that in there. Because if people wanted to wear that for Halloween, you know... That'd be cool. All right, I'm going to go for one of my favorite things, the pin. Oh, yeah. Oh, sweet. Yeah, this is cool. This is good and very, very timely for October. Even though we're in November at the moment, it's timely for October. I still am having, like, an October hangover where, like, I don't want to give up the feeling of October and the horror movies and all that, which, you know, I'm a grown-up. I can just keep watching horror movies, which, actually, I'm going to watch them today, so... I will do that. So this is from Pocus Pocus. It is a great, great, great uh, Halloween slash October film. And it is... It's been a while since I've watched it, so I don't remember the character names. But this is Bette Midler's character, her witch. That's cool. That looks good. That's really nice. I don't think this... This isn't one of like the limited ones, because I don't... If I'm feeling around, I don't think I have a one-up card, so... And I don't. I don't have a one-up card, so I'm not going to check the numbering on this one. Yeah, it looks really good. Like, look at that. That looks nice. That's very nice. Uh, Mick Garris is the director who did Hocus Pocus, and I feel like he doesn't get enough credit for being a, a writer-director. He's worked on a lot of really good films, and he's done a lot of really good stuff. And he has a really awesome uh, podcast, if people are interested. It's called Postmortem with Mick Garris, and it's just... A horror-related podcast where he talks about um, horror film and the film industry, and he talks to like actors and directors and writers, producers, stuff like that. So it's really cool. Anyway, I don't want to go too far in that direction. Um, this thing, it's kind. Of, I mean, depending on your fandom level, it, it's cool. Uh, it's kind of a throwaway item, but you know, we get those here and there in, in Bandbox. Ace Ventura Pet Detective to serve and protect your pets. So, I mean, that's kind of cool if somebody wants to just, like, have it in their wallet. I mean, they had sent us a uh, prop replica of McLovin's um, ID from Superbad. And I keep that in my wallet, actually. And every now and then I'll just, like, when I get go to, like, a bar or something and get carded, I just hand them that first. And... Some people don't react to it the way you would hope, like actually get it and, and think it's funny and a joke. A, a bunch of people do, but there are people who will like look at it and be like, no, and then hand it back. It's like, you didn't look, it says friggin' McLovin, and all right, whatever. <laughs> so, but I like it for that, and you can kind of use this for that type of thing if you want. All right, next is the piece of artwork done by Chris Oz Fulton. Ooh. Okay. Oh, this is so nice. This is so nice. Oh, this is... I like this a lot. So I got number 350 out of 750, and it's for the movie Labyrinth. Labyrinth, in my opinion, is a very underrated film. The puppetry in it is amazing. 
The acting is pretty pretty good. Early Jennifer Connelly, David Bowie, R.I.P. Who's awesome. Look at this though. I'm trying not to get the reflection on there. Sorry. Look at that. I'll just kind of. There you go. Look at this though. That's awesome. It's done in like this kind of like artsy, like high class, like classic style art. Um, you got all the characters in there, all the major ones at least, and some of the you know lesser, lesser characters, but very memorable. This is really nice. This is really nice. This is. Yeah, quality-wise, I think this is one of my favorite ones we've ever gotten in any of the band boxes. That's really nice. Chris Oz Fulton. Dude, that's cool. I'm going to put that up. That's going on my wall for sure. I'm, I'm really big into horror and not as big into all the other stuff, although I like getting this box. Um, so I don't put up on my wall much of the non-horror stuff. It's mainly just horror. But every now and then, I'll get something kind of like this, and that's definitely going up. Definitely going up. All right. The next thing is the autograph. Oh, cool. I had a feeling that the autograph was going to be from this because it was very specific. So they said there was going to be something from Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors, which Dream Warriors is one of the best of the films. Obviously, the first one's the best, but Dream Warriors is not far after that. And this is signed by Jennifer Rubin, who played Taryn. And she's a very memorable character from that because she had, like, the huge mohawk, as you can see here. Yeah, dude. Well, that's going on my wall. That's a definite wall piece right there. Ah, that's cool. I like that. Yeah, very memorable character from a very fun horror movie. I actually just watched this a few weeks ago. Um, nice film. Oh, that's cool. I like that autograph. That's a really good autograph. I think then it's just a spoiler sheet. Yeah. Nothing else in the box. Spoiler sheet. Let's go over this. Okay. Oh, so there were... Oh. What? Okay. Well, now I look kind of dumb. So the mask is not anti-venom, although it kind of looks like it. It's supposed to be a Rorschach mask from um, Watchmen. Now it makes sense. You could have ended up with a Rorschach mask like that, or you could have ended up with a Spider-Man mask. Glad I got the Rorschach. Looks better than the Spider-Man. Um, I'm just not... Like, I like Spider-Man, but I'm not, like, a huge Spider-Man fan at the same time. Then I don't need to show you the Ace Ventura card. Those all look the same. The pins... Honestly... Of all of them, I think the one that I got, which is the common one, looks the best. I mean, they all look good, but the two hundred out of two hundred and fifty and out of ninety nine, like, don't look that much better to a point where I'm like, oh man, I really wish I got that. So, I actually think the the common one looks the best. Then there were the art prints, which look really good. The limited edition out of five hundred. Oh, okay. So there were, there were limited out of 500, so I guess they did 250 of one and 250 of another. And then the the common one, which we got one of, I'm pretty sure, yes. The, it was very much the same, it's just the color scheme was different. And you couldn't could have gotten one of two. So these were the common ones. You could have ended up with Jennifer Connelly or David Bowie. And then there was the color variation for the limited, same thing. Would have liked to have the, the David Bowie one, actually, just because I love his character in that, and I it just in general love Dave, Dave Bowie. He, he was awesome. Um, I think I said Dave Bowie, like we were like friends or something. I wasn't friends with, with David Bowie, so we fixed that. And then the autograph, um, I don't think you could have gone wrong with whatever you got on this one, but the actual like Dream Warriors poster art is the best by far but they all look good and then her with the with the two switch blades that's cool those are cool okay uh i dig it um i like the pin i don't really care about the mask or the ace ventura thing but i like the pin i really like the autograph and i really 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 like the art print um yeah 
Yeah, good box. Nice box. I like it. Band box, you're doing well. See, and this is the thing. Like, when it's a box like this, I don't really mind waiting for, like, an extra week or whatever. So, I'm just saying. Anyway, thank you, everyone, for checking this out. Please hit subscribe if you want to know whenever I have a video come up. Because I don't just do unboxings. I'll do other stuff here and there. Which I have some other stuff planned coming up. Um, hit that notification bell and you'll be notified immediately when everything goes up. Uh, but it really doesn't take any time for you guys, just like a second, to just hit that thing. It can mean a lot for my channel if enough people do it. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, another reminder is in the comments down there, or in my description down there, I'm going to have that link. So if you want to sign up for Bambox, you can help me out a little bit. You can help yourself out a little bit by getting a discount, and we all win. So go ahead and do that. And then let's talk about some of the items in here. I'm always down for that. But until next time, thank you very much, and keep it brutal.